if you want to manifest everything that you desire, this is the only concept that you need to know that you need to learn because no matter what manifestation techniques you use and no matter what you are trying to script or you know whatever it is that you are doing whatever prayer manifestation technique no matter what you are doing if you do not do this then you are not going to have success with manifestation so if you are somebody who's been exhausted by trying everything out and yet you are not able to manifest today's video is just for you it is extremely essential so i want you to listen till the very end because this video could change your life it changed mine it changed my clients and there are countless testimonials online that tell you that this is the only concept which matters and what we are going to discuss today is mental diet it is the gist of everything it is absolutely essential so keep listening hello everyone i am neha kumar i am your manifestation bestie because i love making manifestation easy for you if you would like my one is to one guidance check the description box i have a free 3 day manifestation challenge going on you can send me an email the details are in the description box and you can join this challenge or if you would like one is to one personalized guidance by me check the description box for my email packages i give you subliminal tracks affirmation tracks custom affirmations scripts visual sequences just for you to help you manifest to give you that one is to one personalized guidance all right so let's talk about what is a mental diet because in my opinion mental diet is the only diet which actually works right it's the only diet which actually works and which changes your world so what is a mental diet a mental diet is a term that was really popularized by neville goddard who is one of the greats of manifestation right so what is a mental diet in essence a mental diet in essence is basically you playing a vigilante with the thoughts that are going on in your head I didn't know Neville. I used to call this method the mind audit, but I think mental diet is better because what you are going to do with the mental diet is that you are not going to allow any sort of negative, angry, you know, unsupportive thought towards your desire to play in your mind for an extended period of time. Now, please make sure. if something terrible is happening you have reacted to it that's all right but the key point here is that you will not allow any thought that is negative or that is telling you that you cannot manifest your desire maybe there is some 3d circumstance maybe somebody told you that what you want is not possible or whatever any thought that gives you a bad feeling or a negative feeling about your ability to manifest whatever it is that you desire that kind of thought is what you are going to block now why does this work so the first thing i told you that this is the only thing which works because if you just do this and follow no manifestation technique you are going to start manifesting everything you desire and the reason why this is extremely potent is because most of us have absolutely no control over the thoughts that are running rampant in our own mind most of us don't even know what we are thinking i was listening to bob proctor the other day and here's what he said 95% of the people in this world would rather die than think 4% of the people in this world think they think and just 1% of the people in this world actually think so 99% of our world 
99% of the people in this world are not thinking. And this is an extremely shocking fact. Why? Because if you are not thinking, if you are not using the faculty of thought, you are missing out on using this powerful equipment that universe or God has given you that actually acts as the transmitter of your desires. Because your brain, see our body is very electric, right? If you have studied any science or if you have not, just listen to this, any sort of message that your brain transfers to any part of your body is done via electrical impulses. The neurons in our body, they transfer electrical charges, electrical impulses and that's how you are able to function. So we are literally an electrical machine, the most efficient machine ever made, right? Because we also have emotions, we are not just this emotionless thing that's designed to do something. We are one of those creations of the universe which is capable of doing anything they desire. You function as a powerful instrument and thoughts are what tells your body, tells the universe what you want and what you want to do. So if you have no control over your thoughts, like I told you, 4% of the people think they think and 95% of the people would rather die than think, you are wasting a lot of your effort. And which is what we are going to take into control. Because if you want to manifest, if you are serious about manifesting, then you just have to start. You absolutely have to start paying attention to what's going on in your mind. You have to. This is the effort in manifestation. This is why people do not manifest because we do not know what's going on in our brain. We are addicted to negative feelings, to trying to prove ourselves right, to trying to judge someone or to just hate somebody who judged us. We spend a lot of time in these negative mental scenarios, which is why it doesn't work. So if you want manifestation to work for you, you are going to, first of all, stop any kind of unwanted thought that is taking you away from your desires, from entering in here. This is your effort. This is your work. And then start thinking positively. Start thinking about how, what will you do when you manifest your desires, right? Because a lot of people go, okay, so if I stop thinking about all the negativity in my life, what the hell am I supposed to think? Because mind, the mind likes to think. And here's what you're going to do. You are going to use this powerful equipment that you have positively. Give it constructive questions. What is it that you are going to do once you manifest your desire? What would you think? What would you speak like? What would you act like? Are there certain things that you would like to buy when you have what you desire? Uh, are there certain places that you would like to go to when you have what you desire? Start planning for them. Do not take any physical action. We're not talking about you having to go out there, spend money, or you doing things that you physically cannot do yet. But in your mental faculty, in your imagination, do all those things. Plan all those things. Search for how much a flight to your dream destination costs. Or check out that home that you want to buy. Or check out that car that, that you want to buy. Nobody is going to stop you from test driving your dream car. All right? It's absolutely not going to happen. People are going to welcome you. Nobody is going to judge you. So use your faculty creatively. This is a mental diet. It's not just enough for you to you know, in the way that it is regularly explained, stop thinking about negative thoughts and what are you going to do? The brain is a thinking, thinking equipment, so it wants to think. Start giving yourself positivity. Start giving yourself positive, creative ideas to think to your brain, but which also means that you actually have what you want. You actually have your desire. So with that, thank you so much for joining me today. If you want my one to one coaching, check the description box, send me an email, let's start working together. People are already seeing powerful results. If you would like to sign up for my three day free email challenge, send me over an email as well.
I'll see you again soon. Make sure to press, press the like button. Make sure to comment Master Manifesto to claim this energy. Subscribe if you're new here. Share this video with your friends and family or anybody else who can benefit from it. I will see you again soon. Bye.